ever had a sensory overload meltdown in the public eye. Oh God, it's hard, you know? So hard. My life in all its entirety is balanced between abilities to go out and about and then recovery. Every excursion requires a support network, intensive planning, and an exit strategy. That and knowing that my body might say hell no, even when I am saying hell yes. And the body, it wins the argument no matter what. And yes, it's frustrating as fuck. So, it requires a careful balance a trusted care partner because, oh my God, can you imagine my horror? If someone just really nearly took me somewhere or anywhere based on just their wants for me. Worse, in my protest, proclaiming it to be best for me. Oh no, sensory overload is not a choice or a behavior. It's a bloody meltdown, a screaming fit, and for me, trigger seizures when overload hits. And I'll have zero ability to help it. Yeah, <laughs> I look ridiculous when that happens, but the pain I'm suffering, it's godly. Ungodly. And no one can see. Not even me. Yet it can start with the flickering of a fluorescent light. Throw in some questions and crosstalk. Oh fuck, my brain is triggering fright. Now get a third thing processing. And oh no, I'll be done for it. I'll be done for it. Oh, I'll be done for it. So please, no one's phone, chirp, or ding. My brain can't handle another thing. And I've got to get away from this. And to stim, to let my brain rest and reset and boop. Oh fuck, I'm fucked and down I go. Sight, sound, scent and a breeze on my skin. Hammers like an ice pick in my brain. Fire, rockets through my nerves first. I'm mute, and then I'm blind, vision scattered, indecipherable. Language from another, incomputable. No speak, no see, can't understand a damn thing. And still, that ice pick hits, and hits. Now someone come force me to make eye contact. Interfere with my personal space. Hold me down and force me to behave. Make me comply so we can finish this forced socialized game. The one you invented to help me grow. My systems are forced to explosion. Body screaming and ignored. Instead I'm taught to push the pain and compartmentalize it into my autistic brain. And there's praise, gold star, good autistic today. And I lost my trust in another human today. Because abuse, this is abuse. Autistic abuse and so much abuse. Forcing a will over another and causing pain is abuse. This is autistic abuse. You don't have to understand it. Just believe us when we say it. Respect our lived experience.
accept it and help end autistic abuse. So I'm gonna give a shout out right now to Stop the Shock uh, over at the Judge Rotenberg Center. They have gotten notice today that they have to evacuate or um, there will be uh, actions taken to remove them from the protest out there to stop the shocks of autistic and deaf and disabled people um, and children as therapy. We don't even allow this for our terrorists. Um, and it's against the laws of humanity. So, um, I just want to say shine on your light, AU. I hear you out there and I'm so happy because it's a shine on hope. And I see all the others autistic and non-autistic and we're standing together and we're going to keep this light bright and we're going to share hope for one another and together we can create change for a better future for all autistic. So peace out. And Whitney Ellenby, stop violating the human rights and calling it a mom war. No, we're done with this. And anyone else who wants to publish books like this that violate autistic human rights, we are international, baby. We're done. Thank you. Get heard loud and proud. Mm.